Don't forget to check out my Patreon link in the description down below where we do exclusive content for videos that get blocked on YouTube like Level Up Project 1, 2, and 3, Twice Sees the Light, Black Pink House, 80s Treasure Film, Black Pink's documentary. Tons of blocked performances are on there as well and certain tours such as Red Mare, Red Room, Twice Lights, Twice Land, the Black Pink The Show online concert, Shiny World 4, and tons of Knowing Bro episodes and so much more. Link in description down below. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have NCT Dream's Hot Sauce album. I pre-ordered it, of course, um, and I'm really excited. I've heard a lot of interesting things. I've heard why why do i feel like recently a lot of songs have the same titles like rocket new age have a song called rocket rocket um diggity one us's song no diggity one us one us i think it was one us um yeah then a uh, rainbow i just heard a song recently called rainbow so that's not doesn't really count but like i don't know my youth got seven my youth i don't know dive into you dive i uh um icon like i don't know i'm just maybe i'm just hearing so many songs now that i'm noticing a lot of titles that are similar but that happens in music anyways i mean titles are very simple most of the time it's very hard to kind of stand out with a title but i we have uh, nine songs and i found the performance for dive into you because i heard jamin like kill that and i i need to see jamin killing that you know so i might do that one instead of the lyric video because this is already going to be kind of long because it's a full-length album, which I'm really happy about because they deserve it. Um, but yeah, I haven't heard too much. All I know is a lot of people, I think, like Diggity and Dive Into You. And people are really mixed about um, Rainbow. People are really mixed about that one. I've seen a lot of people say, uh, if you skip Rainbow, I don't trust you. So that makes me think a lot of people don't like Rainbow. But that also just means maybe fans are just being, you know, their extra selves and being like, if you skip that your taste is bad and maybe no one's really saying it but like it's just kind of implied that that's their favorite song then you know so let's hop into this we have diggity and i heard a snippet of it because i had to add it to the playlist and it played a little bit and it sounds hype but i didn't hear much of it yeah it's like this like heavy bass sound give me very uh like limitless that type of vibe quiet down like those songs this is that this is that like og like nct sound like this is that like core sound of nct that i love why does mark have like an orange or something hey trump sounds so good on these like darker songs Oh, my goals for this album, I really want to hear Jamin kind of go off in a rap, like get a good rap in there. And I want some like good parts for Chenla. I feel like he gets like a lot, but I feel like I need something like an important part for him. And I forget, I'm so sorry, I forget Ren Jun's the main vocalist, him and Heichon and Chenla, like them three I think. Um, I don't think Heichon sings as much here as he does in 127 though, um, but I, he, he stands out so um but yeah i forgot ren june's the main vocalist i honestly forgot because i always kind of see him as a dancer so it kind of slips my mind that he is a mo main vocalist and so i felt kind of stupid when i like learned that and then remembered in my reaction i didn't like i i don't i don't know why i, I didn't remember that um i guess because it's been a while since i've heard new dream music and he didn't get that much in the resonance album i don't think if i remember correctly i could be wrong about that but yeah, so <laughs> my goal is just I want Ren Jun to kind of get a good dance part um, and I want Chen La to kind of get an important part with like the vocals and I really want to see Jamin get a good rap because I feel like when Mark isn't the one killing the rapping it's usually Jeno which is totally cool because I like his voice but I kind of want more from Jamin you know I kind of want him to like go in there and kill it. Yeah, I like when Jenna's just like hype me. Oh, I think it's because I kind of hear Renju and for some it's like 
Because I forget Ji Sung's voice is so deep. So when I hear Ren Jun sing, I don't know why my brain thinks it's Ji Sung. Because I'm when Ji Sung was younger, that's kind of what Ren Jun sounds like to me. Um, a little bit. And I, I just forget Ji Sung has such a deep voice. Like, it really just, it's always shocking to me. So I think when I hear Ren Jun, sometimes I hear Ji Sung. Like, young Ji Sung. Odd lyrics? <laughs> Boom diggity. This is cringy, I love it. Oh, that jam was about to go. I like the highlight. Boom diggity. Does anyone's Jing Jano sound so much like Mark? Oh, we don't talk about Columbus and good spirits, people. <laughs> Columbus is trash. It's okay, they're probably not educated either. <laughs> oh, well, you build the build, the build. Kill it, Jamin. Oh, I love how they say it. Go far from diggity. Diggity. This is so amusing. It's a fun song. I like it. <laughs> we need more G-Sung. We need more G-Sung. Though I think G-Sung does better with the vocal heavy songs. So it's fine that he doesn't get much here. He'll do more in another song, I believe. The iconic SM bridge with local focus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like every reaction, I am only shocked by his voice because, like, I know it's deep, but it's just, it's just, it's jarring. Like, it like doesn't suit him. Like, not in a bad way. Like, it just, it doesn't uh fit him. It doesn't fit his face. It does suit him. It just doesn't fit his face. Like it's so weird. I, it's my son. His voice deepened so much. Uh, if I ever have a son, I'm just gonna like always be shocked when his voice deepens. Watch my son's voice never deepen. <laughs> he like Felix, but Felix had a deep voice since he was born, basically. <laughs> While G Sung's is like it's getting deeper, it's creepy. <laughs> I love it. That's so odd though, because he has such a deep voice. You would think maybe he'd get kind of more lines in the songs like this, but I, I guess his his voice is very vocal heavy. I feel like he kind of does better with that, so it's cool. I love that song. That was fun. That was a fun song. That's a good starter. I'm surprised this isn't the... What's it called? Like the, the second song they perform. I always call it like the second title track. Um, but I have to say that... All my life. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree. Once again, I, just because the song's good doesn't mean it should be the title track. This should have been, well, we'll see what Dive Into You is like. This should have been maybe like the second title track. Because it's fun, but it's not, it's not, it doesn't stand out. Like, it's not, it just kind of sounds like, like I said in the beginning, it reminds me of a lot of the OG kind of like songs for NCT. Like, it has the NCT core sound. Um, but it wouldn't, Hot Sauce stands out. Hot Sauce is breaking records. Hot Sauce, this wouldn't, I guarantee if this was a title track, it wouldn't have gotten as many, wow, like, we have like 40 something million in the first 24 hours. In comparison, I'm gonna bring BTS, cause this is crazy. Like, this shows the worth of like NCT Dream, because BTS is the one breaking like a lot of tracks. 
that I, if I remember if I, re ugh, if I remember correctly 40 million I think was the goal for fake love or around that I think it was like 50 million it was the goal for fake love so in like comparison of success because I know like NCT is like the biggest rival of BTS for some reason because SM and big hit high whatever I don't know I hate I hate it because they're like two of my favorite groups but that's like because it was 60 million for idol I believe and I think NCT Dream almost went to 50 million like that's crazy like this wouldn't have done that success I guarantee it I swear let me know if you guys think it would have I mean it still would have been more than um Raiden and stuff but it wouldn't have been anywhere near it wouldn't have been anywhere near like nope so let's see the dive into you stage if this is cut it's because it got blocked but I feel like we might be fine I maybe just have to edit it I just want to see the live because I saw pictures of Jamin and oh we're on a couch is this a slow song I'm confused Okay, that's a slow song. Oh. Okay, we stand. Just kidding. <laughs> we have props. I'm sorry. I love Ren Jun. And he looks so much like Ming Hao here. <laughs> I think Ren Jun is Ming Hao's son. Ming Hao from Seventeen. It, this outfit just screams influence of Ming Hao. The hair. Ugh. Love it. My son's. I feel like this course is gonna hit. Oh yeah, Jisung suits these type of songs, the slower ones. Yes, yes, this is what I want from Chenla. Oh, that was so cool. Ooh, I like when Renji sings after Chenla. Didn't um. <laughs> on island the show didn't they have a song like this but it was very sexual and it was kind of weird to me because like they were all like 15 <laughs> it was like so sexual and i was like mm, that's what i was thinking i would dive into you i i swear that's yeah because the lyrics were so weird like it was just weird i, I didn't like how uh it was very odd <laughs> but uh this sounds cute I love this choreo. Ooh, look at Jamie. He looked really good. Oh, oh, oh. Smooth. His dancing, his like, he's so charismatic. Like, this man can, like, he wasn't even doing anything too crazy but like it was like these little moves that just like it's like his expressions and just all oh, suave the way he just oof. oh we stand look how smooth look at them in the back body rolling my sons oh jen is singing i know you can sing but it's very sweet here. I love Hei Chan's voice in this. I think part of me thinks like a diggity would have been better for this, but it would have been expected. So I'm kind of glad they kind of showed a different light here of like their softer side. Oh, Chenla. I'm wondering, is this like a remaster of that song? Because I was always shocked that Enhypen didn't get that song on their albums. So I'm like, did they sell it here and just switch it? Okay, Renjun. And then, oh, Jisun came in. I wonder if the boys are also shocked at how deep his voice is. I feel like I haven't seen him talk about it. Just his voice cracks. What is- why is Jamin always trying to be a little bad boy? He tries so hard. It's so cute. He did this in Riding too. Like, he was trying to like- 
be a bad boy and like Jamin you're such a sweetheart it's so it's kind of like it suits him so I get why he does it but knowing his personality is just really cute when he goes a little like he tries to be all bad it's ad it's endearing because visually it works Oh my god, he jumps so high. Kill it, Chenla, baby. I like the bubbles. Bubbles for my children. Why is there a whale? Is it a whale or a dolphin? I think it's a whale. I also like that they have a more fun dance. This was cute. I love this song. This one, I might like it more than Diggity. Chenla kind of got what I wanted him to. Wait, 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 wait. They have other live shows? Should we do Rainbow? The live Rainbow? I didn't know they did so many. I, I'm scared they're going to get blocked. I don't know if I should risk it. Oh, the babies. I don't know. Should I do it? We'll see when I get to it. Um, no, I always thought Jamin was a vocalist. Um, I love Chemo's voice. Oh my god, his voice was so good in the song. Good job, my baby. Alright, now we have... Yeah, I think this one, actually, I think it might be my favorite. It might be my favorite. Oh, when I played Hot Sauce in the car, my mom turned it up, so I was like... She usually doesn't do that. So I was like, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hot sauce has my mom's stamp of approval. She went, and I was like, yes. <laughs> Is this gonna be another dedication to their younger side and how much they've grown? Cause they have a lot of songs like that and I like it. Wow, Mark's hair is way more blue than that picture. I feel like we're gonna get like a beat drop and like maybe an empty chorus. <laughs> yeah, it was like a full speed drop, kind of. Ooh, I like, okay, so um, I have to always say this and I also have to like disclaim what I mean when I say it. Mark's not like my favorite rapper in, in the world. Um, ever since like I first got into NCT like three years ago, he's never, I, I, he's like, I always felt like he had a very repetitive like rap, like he had one style he was going for. Um, but I've, I've been saying a lot like with the recent album stuff how much he's been improving and he's just gotten so much better especially like in Superman and stuff I feel like his flows have changed a lot um, but I've always liked when Mark kind of did raps on like these songs like when he did a more slow rap because I feel like he experiments more there and I think it just suits him best so yes I like okay this flows a little different Ooh, he turned a little do 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 there. Jamin trying to be a bad boy here. Who's doing the oohs? Is it Jisung? Or Chenla? Plot twist is Jamin. It's a little deep, so I feel like it's Jisung, but I feel, I feel like Chenla can do that. It's, I think it's 2D for Renjun to do. Oh, ooh. It could be Renjun. Yeah, it's like a reminiscent song. I like that. I like when the rap line sings. My 
biases. I I'm very biased towards not loving when like rappers kind of rap like that, like that, like da -da -da -da. like it's it looks like a purposely like lazy kind of rap, you know, like with the little auto tune thing. That's just like a bias of mine though, like an anti bias I guess. So eh, it was alright, it was alright, it was alright, it was short, it was short, but. I like that part. Jenna looks so handsome there. I don't know why people are surprised when rap lines and groups can sing. I, I guarantee every rapper in K-pop can sing, like, because you're always taught to sing the basics at the very least, you know? Um, not all rappers are as good as Mark <laughs> at singing, but, you know, like, uh, every every idol has to learn the basics at least from all the companies i've seen which i've seen a lot of companies i feel like it's kind of the bare minimum just like you need to know the basics of dancing i don't know about rapping i think yg maybe you're you have to learn the basics of rapping maybe i doubt it though but uh you have to, everyone has to learn how to sing the basics like that's like the key point like because um well <laughs> sometimes i guess maybe say someone's injured or something i feel like sometimes the rapper like especially like jamin maybe like since he's not a main rapper i think he's a lead uh or i don't even think he's a lead i think he's just a rapper because he doesn't get that much rapping um i feel like maybe he would take over uh, someone's part you guys let me know but lots of times i feel like you kind of all have to learn to sing because you maybe have to take over someone's part though i think mainly like the main vocalist takes over the parts if someone's missing but you know like you all have to learn the basics <laughs> so i'm never too shocked i'm shocked maybe sometimes how good they sing this is definitely this and dive into you though definitely my favorites i like reminiscent songs like this they make me feel nostalgic and warm and the vocals in the background who is doing it is it is it I'm gonna guess Chenla. I'm buzzing in Chenla. Chenla or Jisung? I don't know if Jisung can go that high though. I bet he could. I bet he could. I feel like we're in a high note. Oh, this pairing. This pairing. The babies. I tend to like their ballads and stuff the most though. This isn't really a ballad, but I like their slow songs the most because I really like their vocal line. I always hear Hei Chun, he's always so evident. It's like, to me, it's like a peppier version of Puzzle Piece. <laughs> Ooh, Chen ending a song again. He has the perfect voice for it. He has a very soothing voice for an ending. Ooh, definitely. I don't know if I like it more than Dive Into You, but ooh, yes, 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 the comments. I feel like Chema can be like so hated sometimes. So when he gets love, I feel happy. Um, usually it's people who aren't fans of NCT Dream though, um, calling him like, privilege and saying like he got in because of his money as if he didn't have like a beautiful voice as a child it wasn't like a child prodigy but whatever oh my god was it really chenla doing ad-libs let me see 134 it just it sounded too deep to be renjun but not deep enough to be jisung and it definitely wasn't heijon unless heijon could have been but let's see no, I think that was no. It was Chamla doing that. Let's see. I need to know. Okay, who was okay? So I, uh, it wasn't who I thought. Was it Renjun doing? Oh, I'm so. Two thirty nine. Let's see again, because I think they meant the other part. Ah, uh, I need to know who's doing the ooh oohs. I 
I think they do mean that. I don't know. You guys let me know who it was. Rocket. I guarantee it's me a beat song, fun song. Maybe like a it's called best friend. Oh hey Chong. Dream is the group where I can distinguish voices the best. Even then I still mess up though, obviously, as you see I couldn't tell who was doing the ad libs. I'm disgusted. Who who allowed? We're gonna have a fun course. We're about to be a be chewing gum era. Come on, let's get it. Oh, what's that song? It's called like Take a Shot or something? Or a Dunk Shot, whatever. I wonder if that's a throwback to that. Dream is the group by a... Oh, I like the lyrics, that's cute. Dream is the group I listen to a lot in summer. Like, they're my summer group. Like, when I'm on the beach and stuff. Dream is my go-to. <laughs> Tim is going off. I'm proud of him. Oh, that was very late. <laughs> they like the word boom a lot. Makes sense. They have a song called Boom. <laughs> we boom. See, I would definitely think that's Mark. Like, that's crazy. I think it's just me. They sound so similar. I would 100% think it's just Mark. Wow, Chella is getting a lot. I'm so happy for him. Oh, I wish he went like, taking you high. I can't sing, but you know what I meant. That was horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm apologizing. I wish he went like, like that little, ah, oh, what's ah, oh, like I wish he kind of did with higher, just a little bit. Hey, Tom. Oh, Renji looks so cute in the picture. I really hope I get him or Jamin's photo card. I don't have any of theirs, I don't think. Was that a saxophone? I don't know, I don't know the instrument. No, I don't think it was. Is it? <laughs> Some? That? So in like a objective standpoint, I don't like love that song, but in a summer standpoint, like mood wise, I would love that song. So like I would listen to this one a lot when I want something specifically like this, but definitely compared to the other songs, it's probably technically like my least favorite. Like I wouldn't listen to it that much all year, but like I would definitely listen to this a lot in the summer and I think it's really fun. Reminds me a lot of their older ones. Um, <laughs> Oh, Mario Kart, I see. Dang. Yeah, Jamin. Oh. Wait, Moonshine Mark, what's that mean? Am I uneducated? What's that? I don't get it. Is it like um? I don't, I don't know. What does that mean? I'm so sorry. I don't get it. Oh well. But uh, yeah, Jamin not getting too much here, but I'm not too surprised. It's okay, it's okay. I'll get it for it. <laughs> now we have Countdown 3, 2, 1. Don't they have a song called this? What the heck, Jason? Not, not exactly like this, but something similar. <laughs> what, is, what is my boy doing? Oh yeah, the vinyl? I have now 
been finally collecting vinyls, you know, getting with the trends here. So, I like seeing that. <laughs> I have like a love-hate relationship when Mark starts songs like that. It's such a cringe. Okay, okay. It's fine. Especially when his voice does that thing. Oh, Mark, baby. This one's gonna be explosive. <laughs> someone tell me what's like the key point to differentiating mark and jenna's voice like what's is there something specific is jenna's like a little deeper i feel like mark can sometimes like in the beginning make his voice go like higher and stuff like he kind of d does like a purposeful youth like sound of like not a voice crack but like you know he'll, he'll like do some fun stuff but i don't know man it's so hard for me like i don't know why well i know why but they also just have like a similar like like we all like they kind of do such similar techniques i guess like um purposely like punching in some certain words is he biting a book i oh, know it's bread this is a song where jamin could go off but I feel like once again he's not going to. I need a more speedy raps from like because everyone in this group kind of does more slow rapping. Like Mark doesn't go off as much here as he does in other groups because I guess it's not their style. But since Geno sounds like Mark, it's kind of the same. And then Jamin, I feel like he could be the one to kind of go faster, add some like differences. But he kind of just does what they do. And I know it, he's not like a trained rapper like in that sense, like he's not a rapper, I think he's more of a dancer. But like, I, I feel like they could give him something to work with, maybe like teach him something else, give him something to make him stand out. Like I feel like he needs more with his voice, he's not given the opportunities he deserves to grow as a rapper. And it's annoying because his voice could suit that type of rap. See, like, Jisung's literally doing what Jamin's doing. Jisung can do those little raps, and Jamin can do something more fast-paced. Jisung could definitely be a rapper. I kind of prefer him singing, though. I hope he doesn't turn into a rapper, personally. Oh, Chema. My son. Oh, he's doing so well. Oh, he's doing such different stuff in this album. boom they really like boom this is i think the fourth song they just said boom once again mentioning uh ticking like clocks and then hot like summer stuff but they mean it like different here oh what a oh this is gonna be like one two seven vibes but or a uh, go it's giving me go vibe like when they like that little clanky sound we uh, we don't need four rappers i'm sorry but listen hear me out this is what my issue is with 127 sometimes you have members who can do that you don't need to make other members do that now if like jamin got like a lot of rapping or a fair amount you know I'd be like, okay, do something like try and experiment with some stuff. But the thing is, you have a rapper. It's Jamin. So why is Jisung rapping? Was Jisung a rapper originally? I could let me check this. Let me double check before I look stupid. What's his position specifically? He's the main dancer, but uh I swear he was a uh, I swear he's let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wrong. I don't like this account. I like the K-pop profiles. Because I've heard him rap a couple times. I think he's done it. So maybe he is a sub-rapper. Dang it. I hate this website too. 
it never gives me the positions unless I'm talking about like all the positions. We'll also look at Jamin because I'm curious if he's even written as rapper. Because sometimes some members only put as like a dancer and never. But I feel like he's technically a rapper too. Mark, yeah, Mark, we get it. <laughs> hey, I forget when June's like one of the older ones of the group. Oh, I like when Chinese members are like all friends with each other. Lead rapper, sub vocalist, we know Jeno's part. Hichon, main vocalist. Why isn't he a dancer? Well, I guess in this group, maybe not. I feel like he deserves to be a dancer, though. To be fair, all of Dream is good at dancing. Oh, wait, Jamie, let's look. Let's see what you are, baby. Sub rapper, sub vocalist. Yes, yeah, so he's a sub rapper. Let's see what Jisung is. Maybe he is. Chenla, main vocalist. Jisung, let's see what you are speaking. Okay. Wow, he's only a sub vocalist? That's disrespectful. But he is considered a sub rap. Okay. When did he start rapping? Because I don't. I guess he was kind of rapping in Chewing Gum. But like, Chewing Gum just had like that tempo of like. They weren't really singing. They were just like. Like, they were just kind of doing that. It wasn't like a lot of singing really because i guess maybe their voices were all kind of eh, you know like puberty age okay all right we'll accept we'll accept because he is categorized as a sub rapper we'll let it go i still think jamin should because v sung sings a lot and jamin doesn't sing a lot so it's kind of like to be f but to be fair as you Chain dream are the most fair unit with distribution I still think this could have been given to Jamin. Let's see if Jamin gets a part though. Let's see that. Because Jisung's killing it. Oh shoot, what was his position? Was he a lead dancer? I think Jamin was a lead dancer. Oh, I love this picture of Mark. His hair looks green. Oh, I, need, I need an R&B solo album from Heechan. This is a favorite. It's giving me Go vibes, but like better because I don't love Go, but it's more the lyrics. <laughs> They're kind of cringy. Oh, the ad-libs. We stand. I like that part. Very subtle. They're so good at like transitioning like that. Oh my god. The transitions between. It's so natural. It feels so natural with them. Like they didn't even finish the other line and he went in and it's so smooth. We have so many songs still. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, it's what I wanted. I'm so happy. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> this. This is what we need. This is what Jamin. Oh, they see, I was right. Like, they need to give him that. Like, they heard me. Oh my god, I can't breathe. That's amazing. Oh, 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 Jamin. I bet it's not that long either, but oh, oh, water, water. Oh, Jamin, go off. Go off, sweetie. And this build up to it with Jeno. Oh, oh, you do it to Mark. Oh, oh, we're doing it to Jenna. Is Jason gonna go? Okay, no, but that made this not my favorite. Like, no lie. 
Oh, this is a long video. It's almost an hour. It's 40 minutes. It's gonna be like an hour. Ooh, but that's okay. That's okay. Jalen, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my god, the ad libs. What's going on? Oh. Oh, that appeased everything I needed. Chandler got some good lines. Renju, everyone here, this was like the most fair song in the universe because in the beginning the reason why i kind of felt like jayman wasn't gonna get anything is because like he doesn't really get anything sometimes like he'll get like one song i think where he kind of gets a good line but you know he doesn't get that much um and i'm pretty sure out of all the members he has the least amount but like it's still more fair than like um <laughs> win or someone or yuta or johnny but you know i think my doubt was fair because he usually doesn't get much but halfway through, I was like, you know what? We'll see. He'll probably get something, a simple rap. No, he went off and he deserved that line. It was so good. It's what he should be doing. This is what he needs. He needs to do that. Um, they heard my prayers. <laughs> Jisung, I felt like his rap was well-deserved then because, you know, I didn't know if Jamin was going to get a rap and it kind of felt like if Jisung got one and Jamin didn't, it's like, why, why, why couldn't he get that one? But, you know. It went all perfectly. This was a well distributed song. Ooh. Oh. Yes. The rappers here kind of like improved so much. Yes. Everyone improved. Ah. This was so good. This was. Nana's rap. Yeah. I can't call him that because that's why I call my grandma. <laughs> but yeah. I'm happy. That was beautiful. A and L. I don't know what that means, but well, we'll see, I guess. Oh, G is so cute. This is SpongeBob Bibu Bop song. We get like a cool like what's it called a cool flow in the chorus like a little catchy little sweet i hope it's not like a crazy chorus i hope it's just like a really cute like sweet one like do 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 or something like that you know like that'd be really cute i kind of hope it's like a cute song let's see how it goes and i kind of hope uh Ranching leads a little bit. Oh, okay. All night long. Okay, yes, you know. All right. Well, it's not what I wanted, but on the second course, we'll see how I feel about it again. I just, I'm very like against group chorus songs. I don't know why. I like when like someone kind of leads a chorus or it kind of gets split or something, you know, like that. I feel like it's a little cheery when it's like all at once, unless it's like a countdown or something or like something like heavier. I feel like I hear Renjun leading a bit though. Who's harmonizing with him? That's cute. But it was a short chorus, so. The verses are longer. Every night. Whoa, 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 I just... I just read the lyrics. <laughs> I just read them. Wait. Wait, we gotta go back, because I just... I just read the lyrics. And, like, it kind of hit me. What this meant. Like, it wasn't processing all night long. Oh, shoot. Chandler, you're 12. I'm just kidding, he's a grown man. It's so hard to see that though. Like when you see them younger, it's just weird. It's weird for me. I don't know. <laughs> but I know they're adults. Jisung's still a baby though. Jisung's still a baby. Oh. 
If I show on YouTube, your thoughts became pillows until the morning. Your thoughts became pillows. Your thoughts were like for me to rest upon. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Where you at? Mm -hmm. See, I don't. I feel like this doesn't suit him. This style of rapping. I feel like he does better with the other one. Because his voice sounds very monotone, which works for some songs, but I feel like he does it in most songs. I can't tell if they're annuating things. Or if they really just mean painting. <laughs> I can't tell if we're insinuating things or if I'm just dirty minded. <laughs> like some of the lyrics feel very blatant, like, yeah, just, you know, I want to be with you. But then, like, there's some, like, Chenla's line where I'm just like, so are we doing dripping part two <laughs> we'll see what the comments say here what your night is so speedy girl mr time just wait for me the first line makes sense i feel like maybe there's just a weird no, he said in English. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Mr. Time is an actual time. Wait for me? Because she's speedy and he's not? I don't know. <laughs> of course, sweetie. You always want to be the sun. Because it feels like they're just saying all night long, I'm stuck with thoughts of you and stuff. But then there's other lines where it does not feel that way. Maybe they did that on purpose to like cover the other parts. All right, that was, that was nice, that was nice. It wasn't what I thought, but that's okay. Yes. Okay, so this was a wholesome song. That one channel line just threw me off. <laughs> this person said I read it out loud, ANL. Like, if you do it, you'll know what, I, what, they, what they meant, but. I feel like this could be dirty. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I mean, it's just me. I think that one line threw me off. <laughs> but it's sweet. It's sweet. Who knows? Who knows what the intentions were? Regardless, you can take it either way you want. Irreplaceable. That person said when Renjun starts a song, you know it's good. When Heydron starts a song, that's when like I know it's good. Well, Mark technically started it, but whatever. He sang first. Chenla, he didn't. That was just cool. I don't know what it was, but that was just really cool. I, I love the way he sang that. That was. It was kind of country a little. It's not a little country. To be fair, at the beginning kind of just gave me country vibes too, but like... Oh, sorry, we really like it. One more time. Oh. 
I hope this is a good chorus, man. I'm scared. I'm nervous about the chorus. I feel like it's gonna be another group chorus. Oh, okay. Not what I expected. Okay. They always defy the expectations. That's okay though. Yeah, like they change it up for Chenla. They like talking about painting a lot too. Boom, painting, all that. <laughs> Spotlight. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was different for him. Good job, good job. That was different. He was like uh, emphasizing like the last one. Like the last part of the word. See how they like start singing before the other person finishes? I like that sometimes they do that. I like that. Oh, <laughs> I was really off there. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, this one's definitely a favorite. It feels very musical. Very theatrical. They could make a cool stage with this. A cool little music video even. The way he is singing. I don't hear that much in K-pop. I hear it much like in American music sometimes, but not in K-pop. Like it's like, Oh my. But like Channel's wish is a little different than Renjun's when he does it. It sounds so like distinct. What is going on? What did they give my children to eat? Oh, this one's my favorite, I think. All the little, like, analogies and stuff. Ooh. He is still going. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this might be the best NCT album. He is still going. Is that, was that Chandler? For a brief second? Mm -mm. It's my favorite, it's my favorite. Oh, wow. Make sure it's over. Yeah, it's over, okay, okay. Wow. Holy, what the, that was crazy. Hatron and Chenla? Is no one gonna talk about Chenla's the musical vibes? Hey, oh, 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 this person, Hazelie, literally said what I was saying. Musical vibes, I can see a cool stage, even music video. Mm. Okay, can we talk about Chenla? Yes, let's talk about Chenla. I was hoping someone would comment, like, what, what like, style channel is doing because i can't decipher what what it sounds like specific like i feel like maybe there's a name for it or i don't know but okay be there for you oh we have a unit song we have the vocal line oh i kind of wish the rap line had a song that's okay that's okay oh my god you're not gonna put jisung jisung really does well with the ballads i was kind of hoping he would be in it let me blessed. Look at my baby Chenla over there, looking cute.
This is like a proper palette I kind of wanted. Like I like the ones we have from them, but this is this is it. I like SM for their ballads. Mmm, that's not good. That's not good either. Toxic. <laughs> but are they doing the same? Are they doing it back, Chen Lo? You deserve to be loved as much as you love. True? What interesting lyrics this is. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> The vocals. Okay. Analyzing this relationship. It seems like they're basically... I don't know if it, they're meant to... Because sometimes, you know, Korea has different standards of relationships. But it seems like this might be an unhealthy relationship where they keep giving. But they never get given. You know, like they're not taking. You know, they're like, I'll be here for you and listen to you and... You know, our, we might fight a lot sometimes and stuff, but you know, I'll be there. You don't, you don't need to, I want to be who you want me to be, which is never good. You should never do that. Like, it's cool like, if you get, if you build as a person with someone else, you know, like with influence, but you should never strive to be who they want you to be. You should be who you want to be. And it feels like they're basically saying, you don't need to be perfect, but in their head, they think they need to be perfect for them. So it's like an unhealthy balance there. We'll see how this goes. If it's meant to be the way I'm taking it, or if it's supposed to be a perfect relationship. Because it's called Be There For You. Also, this may not even be a real relationship. This could be like a love relationship. This could be like a fan song, maybe. We'll see how the lyrics go. So you shouldn't get used to that. It shouldn't feel like you're getting used to something. Yeah, this could be a fan song, but like kind of worded as a love song as well. You know, like one of those. I love when Ranjun has falsetto. After Chun is nice, sultry, like always. Okay, the guitar. More prominent guitar. I, don't know, I couldn't tell if it was there before. Yeah, this could be a fan song. Hate on English. Chema, oh, the ad-libs. Falsetto, hey, Trump, too. Oh, wait, I did not expect to be like this focused on the album. So, most of the lyrics after the first part were kind of repetitive of the same ones. So, I have a feeling this is more of a fan song than a relationship song. Let's see the comments. He's been divorced seven times. No, Chandler killed that. I think, um, to me, Renjun's voice just screams ballad singer. Like, I feel like he could do a whole EXO sing for you or universe album, you know, like, by himself. Like, he could totally do that. But of course, we have, like, I feel like Hei and Chenla give more to him. Not saying they're not bad, like, we're just talking about Renjun now, like, Renjun could deliver a whole album on his own, but Heitron and Chenla's, like, little 
parts with him make him even better if that makes sense like make his voice stand out even more kind of like he does for them as well like this is a great trio perfect love it they should do a subunit together oh i like chenla's like smooth voice and then heechon's like nasally sweet distinct tone like oh i love it now we have rainbow are we gonna do the performance maybe we should do the performance let's see and then if if this gets blocked sorry <laughs> where'd it go where can i go for it all right we'll get up um Hey, hey. No, 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 no. Shh, rainbow. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Okay. Okay, it's another ballady type song, maybe? Because, yeah, makes sense. You have to end on a sweet note. Is this going to be our gay anthem? Are we having a gay anthem? Maybe I should just watch this whole stage. <laughs> Oh, lyrics? No, of course, they can never provide. I won't know if it's gay anthem, I'm just gonna think it is. <laughs> that was smooth, Chandla. Oh! Oh, I feel like it's about to hit. This is about to be like that nostalgia again. Every time. cry. Why is this voice so beautiful? Oh. Okay, if you guys have heard, I don't know if any of you watch my newest reactions, but they have a song called Earphones, and it has like a similar kind of beat here, but it's like less emotional. It's more like a put on my earphones, like that kind of vibe. Um, that one gives me such nostalgia too, and this is just Oh, this is just... Oh, this is so beautiful. It gives me such, like, good feelings. Ranjun always looks like he's about to cry. You know he feels music like that. I wonder if any of their mics are muted. <laughs> I don't think so. Rap line can sing. But I just don't hear any mark. <laughs> Or Jeno. See, I like Mark's rap like this. Cool, love this voice in the song. Ooh, he moded a bit different there. Ooh, the way Jason came in, like, did it. Okay. Oh. Oh, Rainbow's my favorite. This is my, my next like puzzle piece, where it's gonna be my, my new favorite NCT song, Dream Song. This is about to be my favorite. This is my favorite. I have to remake my list real quick. Because I'm doing a video with my favorite songs. Ooh. Is that Jamin? Oh, we just got Jamin there. Ooh. We love Vocal Kings. He has those eyebrows that make him more than good with ballads. Oh, it's my favorite. It's it. This is it. This is it.
I see why I didn't know Renshin was a main vocalist. I see why. We'll talk about it at the end. Or like I didn't notice his voice, maybe. Maybe I did, and I just don't remember because it's been so long since we reacted to like just stream music because I finished it all like a year ago, <laughs> over a year ago. Oh, all right, one second. Okay, someone said this kind of rapping suits Jamin so much better than the lines he gets in title tracks, which I agree with, but the second half I don't really agree with. They say Jeno and Mark shine in the hard hitting raps, and Jamin and Jisung shine in the softer, slower, more sensual, art articulate raps. I feel like differently because I think Jisung has a very deep voice. <laughs> I think, I know, he has a deep voice, and I think he can kind of, um, hit, like, kind of like, as the only one I can compare with is like Felix of Stray Kids. Like, who, well, it is technically, like, softer rapping, but I feel like he can do more, like, dark rapping, I guess, is the way to do it. Like, he, I don't think he'll sound very good, like, going quick or anything, so it will be technically slower, but I don't think necessarily softer. I feel like they're talking about this song here, and I think Jisung had a nice part, but I think he does better with, like, Countdown 1, 2, 3, or whatever, 3, 2, 1, um, and that type of f stuff. I also just don't think, I'm, I'm, I really just prefer Jisung singing, but I think that's just because I always prefer more vocalists than rappers. I feel like too many, because rapping is like, you have to like, you can tell when someone isn't a rapper and they're just rapping. And I think when you have more rappers, that leads to more people just rapping instead of being rappers. And I just don't really vibe with that. Um, and I also think NCT Dream have so many not rap focused songs so why do you have so many rappers you know so um if you're gonna have more rappers maybe do more songs that involve more rapping which they kind of did here but i still feel like most of these songs weren't rap focused so i'm like why do we have so many rappers here um i think when um mark left you know for two seconds <laughs> that made sense as to why jisung maybe took that place or something you know like that makes sense why there was three rappers and three vocalists and i still think you should have more singers but that's like an opinion thing um regardless i do think jamin sounds better with the hard-hitting raps especially when we witnessed that you know with the other song like i feel like he sounded better he sounded like a rapper instead of like he's just rapping and i think but that, like the mark thing is just a personal thing because um well technically it's like all personal it's all opinion but you know like mark it's kind of goes i think most people think he sounds better when he does more fast rapping which i can agree to some extent but i do personally think it's his voice it's definitely his voice i think that's what it is he has a very youthful voice doesn't matter how much older he gets he kind of always sounds like he has the same voice and to me like voices like that it, it just kind of can sound a little childlike when they rap like hardcore he does succeed sometimes in like a personal way like because you can think he succeeds all the time that's really cool but like to me i always just prefer when he does more of the emotional rapping i guess you could say or the softer rapping um general i think he's cool he's like a hype man so it makes sense like he gets harder hitting rap parts but i think jamin i really think he could be a more hardcore rapper if they provide him the like because you have to kind of learn how to do that you can't because if you don't know when you do it you can look kind of fake but one second let me look at my favorite songs all right my favorite songs are dive into you my youth countdown uh rainbow is my number one be there for you and yeah those ones i like irreplaceable a lot too all night long i like rocket i like and diggity i like and hot sauce i like like but like i definitely prefer the other five or four that i said the most but this is definitely one of my favorite nct albums as a whole nct uh and definitely my favorite nct dream album now the renjun thing because i forgot he was the main vocalist and i think this goes a lot with what i was saying about the rapping too like they have so many rappers but a lot of their songs just feel like they don't like you can have rapping in there but it just feels like you have such good vocalists and you weren't like giving them the songs to provide that which is fine for the first couple years because they were aging from like teens so they were hitting that puberty level we've seen the mistakes of their voices cracking live and stuff it makes sense they weren't going too hard with the vocals in the beginning but 
I still feel like even later on, I mean, we had puzzle piece, but like even later on, I feel like the vocal line didn't get to shine that well there. And I learned, I I knew Heichan was a good singer because in 127, they get more mature songs, um, especially like vocally mature songs. But for Dream, it kind of felt like they were still, they were getting darker songs, which once again, kind of showed more of the rapping, like go and writing and stuff. But I feel like a lot of their B-sides really didn't show much of their vocal talent. And when it did, it wasn't like, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like I could see, at least from what I remember, it wasn't like I could see who was really shining there. Um, and I already knew Chandler was a great singer because I've seen clips of him when he was younger. You know, he was a child prodigy there. Um, I feel like Renju and I didn't get to see much of his talent outside of like dancing maybe. Um, even then, I don't know, because I haven't watched many of their live performances either anyways. But like, I already knew everyone else was good, and then Jisung's voice always kind of stood out to me because um, I like his voice and puzzle piece and stuff, and I just felt like his deep voice would sound so good with like vocals, so, you know, it kind of felt like he had that little advantage there of like standing out. But Ren Jun, he's already kind of like quieter and stuff, so it took me a while to get to know him anyways, and then he did become my bias. And he's not as quiet as I thought, <laughs> but um, he's a little shy, a little more timid though, you know, when he's not with his friends, like the dream members. So he's like a soft boy, you know, and I didn't get to really see how talented he was. And I, I like this because I really got to see how great and like, and that's why I didn't know he was a main vocalist when I was watching the music video because I kind of forgot the positions of the group. Um, cause I already knew the basics, like I knew who was a singer and who was a rapper and who was a dancer, but I didn't know like the levels of it. Um, so this was nice. This was nice to see. I felt like in general though, everyone showed mo more than what people knew. Like even in the comments, people were saying like, wow, Chandler finally, like we got to see more of him and stuff. And I felt like this was a great album. This was really good. This showed what SM was missing of showing out on like because they had a talented group and they were never taking advantage of it they kind of give them the least amount of comebacks even wavy i feel like is had gotten more than dream ever really gets like they had a full-length album like a year in and i i love wavy they're technically probably my favorite unit but uh, kind of sometimes it's just i feel like they're pretty even at this point with who I like the most of unit wise, but I, I guess I listen to Wavy the most, but now they're kind of similar. Um, but yeah, definitely love this. Love this so much. We would do more dream content because they're releasing stuff, but it'll probably be scattered about because I have other stuff with NCT that I'm watching. A lot of NCT. On Patreon, we've been doing um, NCT World 2.0 and we've been doing Wavy Dreamline if you like Wavy. Um, but NCT World 2.0, love it, love it on there. Jamin's really cute. Heichan's always crazy. Um, I feel like Renjun's kind of quiet there. But like I said, he's kind of quiet anyways. Uh, Chandler's goofy and stuff. Love it, love it. But yeah, that's it for this video. This is a really long video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>